Hi, it's Lynn here with week six of Sarah Hatton's Day Out Blanket and this week it is a combination of knit and purl stitches but then every so often in the pattern there are these lovely um, bobbles which add some really nice texture in addition to the texture of the purl stitches. So what I'm going to show you is how to make these bobbles because these are no turn bobbles. Now normally when you knit bobbles you knit um, more than once into a stitch to create new stitches so you knit into the front yarn over knit in again um, I'll show you how to do that properly in a minute and then once you've got like more stitches you then turn your work purl turn your work knit turn your work purl that sort of thing but it is a bit um, not, not annoying but you know some people don't like the fiddly nature of the turning your work and everything so what Sarah's done is she's created um, these bobbles as no turn bobbles so you don't have to turn your work um, and also it means that they stay nice and bobbly on the front of your work and they don't slip onto the wrong side which often happens really with bobbles and you have to kind of keep pushing them to the front sometimes I've had to sew mine like catch them on the back so that they don't you know fall fall into my work so that's the, the stitch that I'm going to show you today so it's only the bobble stitch that I'm going to show you because all the rest is just really really simple knit and purl stitches as you can see on the um, chart here the knit and purl stitches create these lovely chevrons and like a diamond shape where the bobble sits in the middle so you've got your chart and um, I think it was week three where I talked through how to read a chart so you can always go and refresh if you want to um, on that and then you've also got your written instructions so you can use any of the of the two to um, follow and make your square so I'm on row 27 okay and this is where we're going to make a bobble so now I'm going to follow row 27 which is a bobble row so Row 27 tells me to knit two stitches, so I just knit those as regular stitches, okay? And now into the next stitch, I'm going to work all of the instructions that are written down, which is knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, all into the next stitch. So you go to knit the stitch, but you don't take it off the left needle. Then you take the yarn over, and then you knit again into the same stitch. You take the yarn over and then you knit again into the same stitch. And then you take it off the needle. Okay. So now these are the five stitches that I've made from that one stitch. And there is a little hole at the bottom of your bobble, but don't, don't worry about that for now because that disappears off later. Okay, the pattern now says to slip these five stitches back onto the left hand needle. So just carefully slip them back one at a time. Okay, now we're going to knit them. Now your yarn is actually situated on the left most of those stitches. So just pull it across the back of your work like you do when you're knitting an eye cord. So we're going to knit these five stitches that we've just made. That's two, three, four and five. And then we're going to slip them again back to the left needle. One, two, three, four, five and knit them one more time okay one two three four and five then the pattern says to slip the first four stitches one at a time over the last stitch so the last stitch is the one at the top and so then you're going to lift the next four stitches one at a time over it so just like you were casting off a stitch 
lift it over and then let go. So insert your left needle, lift it over, pull your needle out. Insert your left needle, lift it over. And then the last one. And just keep tugging on the yarn um, because it is attached to that top stitch. So it will stop that from falling off if you hold it quite tight. And there's your bobble. And then you just carry on knitting as instructed in the pattern. I think it says um, to knit nine. Is it knit nine? Yeah, knit nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and we'll make one more bobble and so we're going to make the next bobble into the next stitch we're going to knit one yarn over knit one yarn over knit one so knit one yarn over knit one yarn over and knit one and take it off the needle so there's our little group of five stitches we're going to slide those back onto the left needle one at a time then we're going to knit them again don't forget to pull the yarn tight across the back of your work one two three four, five, slip them back again, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to knit them the last time, one, two, three, four and five and then we're going to lift one at a time those bottom four stitches over the top stitch just like you're casting off one two three four and there's your lovely bobble and then you knit nine again one, two, three, four. I'll just stop there and just show you how the bobbles are. So they sit nicely then on top of your work, nice and bobbly. And that's how you do the bobbles.